everyone, I'm Erica Hosking, and today we're here with the Perch Executive Chef, Chef Kimberly. Hi everyone. And we have a special treat for you. We're gonna be doing a holiday special with our Kalamazoo cooking items, specifically their infamous hybrid grill and their countertop pizza oven. So with that being said, I'm gonna let Chef Kimberly take it from here and walk us through that delicious menu. Hi everyone, welcome. So today we have a not so traditional holiday menu. We're gonna do a little bit of pork loin, which is super simple, but yet it looks beautiful enough to put on that Thanksgiving table or Christmas table, whichever you like. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do that on the rotisserie using some the smoking function on this grill. Um, and then we're going to do a grilled apple chutney. We're also gonna have a little glaze at the end on top of that pork loin. Then we're gonna move on to a sweet potato roast with a nice um, white sweet potato uh, puree on the bottom. Beautiful herbed butter on top. And then we have a smoky chocolate pecan pie that we're gonna be having for dessert because you know, it isn't Thanksgiving or the holidays without some sweets. So Erica, let's get started. Yes, put me to work. Okay. So what I'm gonna have you do is we are going to go ahead and do a nice little smoky rub that I did. So I just took Montreal steak seasoning, a little bit of smoked paprika. You could use any kind of like smoke seasoning that you like. So I'm gonna have you go ahead and cover this up with it. Just get in All there, right. slap it around, Give do it what a you nice gotta little, do. <laughs> a little yeah. massage. Don't be shy, don't be shy. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Let's just lather her up. Yeah. I like so, a good crust. So while you're doing that, I have right here some applewood smoke, um, smoke chips and some mesquite smoke chips that I soaked. So we're just gonna go ahead and do an aluminum foil. We're gonna ignite this in there just to kind of get that smokiness started on their dragon burner. So I'm gonna poke some holes in this. How are you doing over there? Looks nice. I think, I think she's ready. <laughs> Is she ready? Are she's we naming ready. her? She's ready Is to she? be kissed <laughs> by that smoke. That's for sure. All right, so I'm gonna set those in there, kind of get that ignited. All right, so our grill is almost up to temperature. We're roasting everything today, so we want to keep the, uh, the grill at about 375 degrees, so everything's getting cooked at the same temperature. Um, and with this, we don't even need to have the rotisserie burner on. They do have an infrared rotisserie burner on the, on the backside, um, but the grill gets so hot that all we need is the dragon burner and the igniter burner up front. So. When would you suggest using that infrared burner on the back? If you're just doing um, like a, a rotisserie chicken or just by it, something by itself and you're not necessarily roasting anything else at the same okay. time, you could just use a rotisserie burner or a rotisserie burner and then a dragon burner. As long as you keep your temperature at around 375, 425 while you're roasting, just like you would in your oven. Perfect. That's all you need. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. I think she looks good. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put that on the spit. Uh, are you familiar with uh, roasting or rotisserie? Have you done you know, a lot of it? <laughs> I do love a good rotisserie chicken that I eat, uh -huh. but I've never actually rotisserie myself. Oh, okay. So this is new for me. So I'm so excited to see this happen live. Yeah, so I marinated this the night before and then I went ahead and just tied it with just trying to kind of keep it in place. Okay. And then we're just gonna go ahead and stab it in there. Yeah. <laughs> just kind of pull it through. Okay. There you go. Nice. And then I'll go ahead and take these. And you can take your gloves off if you okay. like, kind of switch them out. Just so you're not like touching your face by accident. Uh, you know? I we don't want that. Agree. That is not what we want. <laughs> Kalamazoo actually has a video of these ribs. It looks so good, like an Asian style rib that yeah. they just kind of um, wo wove into the, the spick. So it's pretty, pretty cool. You could just use it for anything. All right, so that's good to go. I'm gonna take off my gloves. Okay. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and put Can them. I yeah. assist you? Yeah. And that is pretty heavy, huh? It is hefty. It's not mm. going anywhere. Nope. And that's one of the great things about this brand specifically is the quality of their stainless. Mm -hmm. They're known to be a heritage piece, something that's gonna last for decades to come. All right, so we're gonna have that going. Great. Our chips are getting nice and smoky. Just gonna go ahead and close that. Okay. Let's clean this Now, up. did you put the chips in the hybrid grill port or did you have them? I have, I have them on the top first. Okay, perfect. To ignite um, first and then we could go ahead and Wonderful. toss it in there. Mm -hmm. So just so everybody sees at home, there is a hybrid grill port on the bottom that you see here that is dual function for coal as well as wood chips. You have two ports, so you can actually use both simultaneously or separately depending on what you're cooking. So now we're gonna get started on the apple chutney, if you All don't right. mind. All right, some fresh gloves. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this sounds so good. It's so seasonal. I might have to steal this recipe. I mean, that's what we're here for. <laughs> to give you some ideas to Absolutely. help you out with Thanksgiving. I know, and I need all the help I can get. <laughs> I, I, I really love the idea of uh, cooking your Thanksgiving meal outside. I mean, it gets your husband to cook instead of just <laughs> sitting on the couch watching football. <laughs> um, 
So if you tell him you're making it on the grill, I'm pretty sure he'll he'll volunteer, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> he'll volunteer to help you cook. Well, so that's I'm the whole experience: outdoor cooking, outdoor kitchens. So, mm -hmm. all right. Keeps your house from getting too hot. So I'm gonna kind of show you how I'm gonna slice it. We're just gonna do apple slices like this. Okay. So I'll let you go ahead and finish that. We're actually gonna grill this. So instead of just cooking it down, we're gonna go ahead and grill it. It's gonna have that smoky flavor to it as well. Then I'll cut some of this bell pepper. All right. So this, just some green apples. We have some apple cider vinegar, then some ginger, some cayenne pepper, some uh, dry mustard, and then golden raisins. Ooh, so lots of flavors. And also, if we, if you have smaller pieces, uh, that's where the grill grates come in handy mm -hmm. because they do have the three different styles of grill grates. Can you walk us through what the three different styles are, maybe what yeah. they're used for? Yeah, so it has three different ones. They're laser cut. Um, so we have one that's specifically for meats uh, and things like that. It gets that nice, really sear on it. Uh, we have one for vegetables, um, so that way your vegetables aren't falling through. I don't know how many times I've lost veggies in my grill. <laughs> yeah. They just like fall right through, especially if you do like asparagus and green beans. And there's one for um, fish as well. And they also have an accessory for gr uh, griddle too. Yes. That you can order. So all of these, it comes with your standard grates, but you could order these extra. And I think it's a, it's a really nice thing to have. If you're gonna invest Absolutely. in the Kalamazoo, you should get, yeah, I, mean, I think you should get the accessories. That way you have a full functioning um, grill. And that's the name of the game is versatility with this grill, is that you, mm -hmm. you can do it all on this one piece. And yes. so that's where it comes into play. So fajitas, you can chop them up, throw them on the grates mm -hmm. with the smaller fish grates, with the yeah. scales. And then if you, like you said, vegetables, meats, sears, proteins, all that mm -hmm. good stuff. The griddle so. would be great for that. If you have the griddle, you can also do pancakes on your grill. Oh, yeah. Again, we're like getting okay, so everyone we're gonna do out a the breakfast door. breakfast one after this. <laughs> yeah, it's cool because you can get people out of your house. We're in Southern California, yes. so right now it's sunny and it's November. It's about 90 degrees outside. Yeah, I'll be spending like... Thanksgiving outside barbecuing. Yeah, yeah So exactly. here we are. <laughs> this is an all year kind of thing. Absolutely. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw this on the grill. Okay. So here's our smoke. So I'm gonna go ahead now, I'm gonna throw our wood chips down at the bottom. Perfect. So you see it's, a, it's smoking a little bit. Yep. Oh yeah, I wanna make sure it fits. It's so the, the reserves that you see down below has a lot of perforation and that's the way you get a lot of oxygen flow to help with the smoking. Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah, that smells so good. Oh I'm my gosh. I'm gonna spray these grates a little bit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on there. And then if you wanna grab some of your apples. Sure. We'll just go ahead and throw them on here as well. So this is the veggie grates, mm -hmm. the smaller perforated grates. I mean, nothing will fall through. Being that it's so heavy, the grill, it's gonna hold in all that heat. Absolutely. It has great quality stainless steel. Yeah. And it's really hard when you're barbecuing to open the hood and lose all that precious heat you've been working so hard for. Yes. So it's great to have a really industrial, strong, robust system like this to make sure you're guaranteed precise cooking every time you're on the barbecue. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and close that now because we don't wanna lose that heat. So now we're gonna get ready for a glaze that we're gonna be putting on. So it's gonna take us about 45 to an hour. I wanna get that temperature about 130 and then we're gonna go ahead and throw on the glaze and let it cook for another 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Um, you could have pork a little uh, little pink in the inside. You don't wanna overcook it because then it becomes dry. And yeah. Kind of like rough and chewy. Okay. So for the glaze, all we're gonna do is, I'll let you go ahead and do that. Okay. We're gonna throw two thirds cup of brown sugar. Perfect. And then this is balsamic glaze Ooh. and stone ground mustard. Yum, I would never have thought to put the two together. <laughs> this is all for apple chutney. Oh, perfect. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and grab a little spoon over Yum. here. Give that a little stir. That I can do. <laughs> I feel like you gave me the easy stuff. Yeah. But I appreciate that. <laughs> it's super simple. We just kinda wanna yeah, show how. Anybody can do this. Yeah. So if you'd like, okay, we'll go ahead and just put nice that on the mixed. grill. Yeah. Right on the grill? Yeah, right All on the grill. All right, show me where to place her. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put it right there. Right here? Mm-hmm. Awesome. And then we'll go ahead and flip our apples. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Right? We'll do it all in one. That's my kind of cooking. <laughs> Less things to clean. Yeah. <laughs> Less those. surfaces to worry about. <laughs> Look how beautiful those grill marks wow. are. Wow. And it, it was only literally on there for like two minutes. Now what we're gonna do, we're also gonna use the grill to make the chutney. Okay. Grab a little pot for you. 
So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna add a little bit of olive oil in here. Okay. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that over this flame right here because I want that to get nice and hot. Okay. And once it gets hot, we're gonna go ahead and add our onions. We're gonna saute them. We're gonna add our apple cider vinegar, let that kind of um, cook down. Add the ginger, add the raisins. And the apples are pretty much gonna be cooked. We're just gonna toss them in there for like three minutes. We're gonna chop them up, let them cool down, just toss it all in there. Super easy. Regarding the wood chips that you're using, mm -hmm. I know it really does a nice job of infusing some quick flavor in whatever you're cooking. Mm -hmm. But if you're a long-term smoker, you like to smoke for days at a time, 24 hours, Kalamazoo does have a smoker cabinet oh, yeah, in yeah. their product suite. So if you're serious and you like to do layers of ribs and you have yeah. you know the full family coming over, oh, yeah. that's where some of their other suite of products come into play, which is their, their smoker cabinet. So we don't have one on here on display, but we do rot rotate it out periodically. And it has a dual ventilation system, which is great because you can control the heat mm -hmm. from top to bottom. Which is super important when you're smoking. Yeah. You don't want to um, cook things too fast or, you know, Absolutely. And we'll check our Oh my glaze. gosh. Who needs the gym when you got this? Right. Okay. Oh, look at our glaze is already nice and melted. How fast is that? Wow. So this is hot. I can hear it bubbling up. I'm gonna go ahead and toss this in here. So this is done. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off. Okay. Ooh, these apples are primo. I just want all this stuff to cook down together. Our golden raisins. Give it a, I feel like I'm like doing spins and stuff. Like <laughs> I'm really doing a little dance for you guys. You guys dance? get uh, <laughs> you get dinner and a show. Yeah, you know what, Chef Kim? That's why we why why we have you on our team. You know? Yeah, you can cook and entertain. I'm a woman of all trades. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I might have lost one through the grates, but. <laughs> I think it'll incinerate. How did you manage to do that? I don't know. <laughs> Purposely there designed like not to happen. Small cracks in there. To get I'm not quite sure. <laughs> if anybody could do it, it's me. That's yeah. definitely <laughs> accurate. Okay, that should be good. And then there's that one. Awesome. All right, we're gonna let that cook down. As soon as that cools down, we'll go ahead and chop it up. Oh I don't want gosh. you to burn your hands right now. No, so absolutely. Kind of to the side. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so now that our apples are nice and cold, you can see that beautiful color right there, those grill marks. I'm gonna have you go ahead and you can just dice it up for me if okay. you don't mind. Or we could do it together. So we kind of, teamwork makes the dream work. Sure. I love those grill marks on there. Okay. And again, oh, the apples yeah. kind of get like a nice little smoked flavor to it too. I have never cooked apples before. I mean, I've mm -hmm. done apple pies, but not to this degree. This is very cool. It's crazy what you can grill. You can do so much. <laughs> I know. So what can't you do on a grill? <laughs> ice cream. I mean, yeah, ice cream. <laughs> well, although you could cook, you cook, could the, cook the milk and everything oh, together on the grill. That is very true. Um, and this, there's so much space on this grill. Oh my gosh, we could fit so much on here. You could put your whole thing here and grill. Like a 20 pound turkey in there, you could do your ham. <laughs> well, they do have other sizes, which is great. So yeah. it can cater to your space outdoors. They have kitchen design available. So you okay. can actually do their stainless steel cabinets. You can do outdoor refrigeration. You can do um, other grilling components like the smoke, the pellet smoker, the Kamado grill. They pretty much have a full suite available so you can do your entire outdoor kitchen oh, with them. And I know a lot of people like to have everything matching. I think that some, to some yes. people it's really important. So there you go. <laughs> well, keeping the want, design integrity, yeah. having it all the same. And yeah, you can also upgrade their stainless to marine grade, which is very important for us here in Southern California oh, yeah. when you're in the, near the ocean. Mm -hmm. So you have great peace of mind if you did their entire suite in marine grade stainless. Yeah, you don't have to worry about rusting. And Absolutely. Stuff. Um, okay, so, so now what we, we already doing? have that chopped up. Okay. This looks, this is cooking down already. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw my apples and my um, bell pepper in here. So what this is, is the golden raisins, Ooh. a little bit of that vinegar, some onions. You're kind of just gonna give that a quick toss. Great. And the apples are pretty much cooked, so. You're just, just kind of melding mar all the, yeah. <laughs> the flavors together. So I have some onion in there. I use Cipollini onions today because I just love them. They're so cute. I feel like they have a sweeter flavor. <laughs> and since the apples are pretty much cooked, that's it. We're just giving it a quick toss. Easy. You have your apple chutney we could just set aside. All right, so let's close that back up. Ooh, look at that pork. Ooh, yummy, yummy. I see it and I smell it. Mm, I like it. I just love that smoke. Gosh, 
so good. Smoke everything. Here we have our beautiful Ooh, sweet potato chips. Do you guys see this? Wow. We have some shallots that I thin thinly sliced as well too. Great. Um, some clar clarified butter. It's really nice to use clarified butter because it's going to take away from the moisture. And this recipe is actually available on Kalamazoo.com. So if you wanted to go ahead and do this one at home, you could go look on there. It's under their sweet potato roast. Um, but I changed it up a little bit. I added a few things and I'll kind of explain that. Great. And also, if you guys want to check out Kalamazoo Gourmet YouTube channel, they will walk you through everything you need to know on their Kalamazoo products, including maintenance, um, tips and tricks, recipes, all that good stuff. All right, so here's a puree. So this recipe, I actually did a puree out of buttermilk, and mm -hmm. then I did um, white sweet potatoes. Um, so I really like that buttermilk because it's going to give it like a nice little tang. I threw in some herbs, sage, rosemary, uh, thyme in there as well. So it's like this herby kind of like tangy uh, yeah. puree. It's really good. It's going to be nice with the sweetness of the sweet potato, a nice little contrast. Um, and this is fun setting up. You're going to see right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just toss the clarified butter in the grill because we're going to let that melt. And then what we'll do is we'll throw in a little bit more herbs in that um, and then we're just going to brush this on top of the sweet potato. Great. So go ahead and toss this in there real quick. Ooh, look at all that smoke. See that smoke? Wow. Well, some of that smokiness infused with the butter or is it more yeah, just yeah. a... Yeah, anything you throw in your grill while you're smoking, um, it's probably not going to be in there that long, so it's not yeah. going to get too much of a smoky flavor, but you throw something in there for a long time, it's going get, to get all of that smokiness in there. All right, so you're going to take this right here and we're going to take some of that puree mm -hmm. and just spoon it on the bottom. Okay. So I really like this because it gives us like a little extra, kind of almost like a casserole. Or oh. kind of like ratatouille. Or have you seen ratatouille? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, they do that. Um, What's the dish cost again? Oh, right. Isn't it ratatouille, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, like, that's the name of the dish. So the ratatouille that they do where they slice all the vegetables really thin and then you actually have almost like a sauce on the bottom. I kind of did that idea. Is that a good amount or should I put more? Uh, a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. Yeah. Does that oh, look good? Yeah, that looks perfect. So basically so, you can't see any of the bottom. It's just no, this nice, thick, nice clean covered. coating. So okay. You get, hold it up right there. Got that whiteness. Right. I think that's going to be so nice, that contrast. All right, so I'm going to show you this part. Okay. Uh, it's going to be fun. So I put mine in water so they curled up. When you freshly <laughs> slice them, they will be flat. Uh, I just wanted to kind of retain their moisture. So what we'll do is we'll get about one, two, three, four, five. And then what you'll do is we'll get some shallots and kind of put them in there. Okay. And then again, grab another five or so. You don't have to be like perfect. Okay. And then some shallots. So it's nice to do this while you're stacking them because it's a little harder later. So then what we'll do is we'll kind of just put them on here like this. So it's going to be nice. Oh, I see. Yes. Yeah, so it's going to be like this beautiful, almost like shell-like look yeah. to it. All right. This is the fun part. Let's go to town. Let's race. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> So, this is so fun. Right? What a great idea. It looks so pretty once it's So you cooked. can kind of do this with any root vegetable then? Yeah, you can. Okay. Um, even like, like I said, ratatouille has um, eggplant in there, yeah. or like zucchini or anything in there. Anything you could slice thin, you could do it with it. Um, and this is kind of a play on the traditional sweet potato casserole mm -hmm. that we're all used to seeing during yes. the holidays. Yeah. So. Let me check our butter. Oh yeah, she's melted. <gasps> everything on your grill. You, you don't have to turn on any burners today. We are just doing everything on here. All right, so nice and warm. So this is ghee, but you could do um, uh, any clarified butter. All, you, all clarified butter really is is just butter on the stove that you cook down or melt down. And you kind of just scrape the white stuff off the top. Ooh. Super easy to do. It's taking away some of that moisture. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in some thyme in here because I got time to throw in some thyme in there. <laughs> Herbs. <laughs> I have dad jokes. <laughs> My dad jokes. I'm here for it. I like your dad jokes. Thanks. You can uh, we can also pass those along to our viewers for yeah. the holidays, you yeah, know? If you guys want any jokes for Thanksgiving table. I'm here all Break week. Break the ice a little I'm bit. I'm here all week. You can find yeah. me at UTC, Costa Mesa, Glendale, Rancho Mirage, and our new showroom. In, Solana Beach. Yeah, there Solana you go. Solana Beach off Cedros. <laughs> where we will actually have a full live Kalamazoo set up there as well. Yeah, and then we'll, maybe we'll do some more videos, right? I'm ready for it. So how shall I pattern okay. the center? Uh, so Keep as long going? as it's covered, so I would do, it looks like you'll have room to do another circle. So okay. yeah, go ahead so and start another circle. Okay. Doesn't it look so pretty? It, has, it looks like a wreath, like a holiday yeah. wreath that we're making. An orange one. <laughs> <laughs> 
So perfect for Thanksgiving. I love it. Got the Thanksgiving colors in there. So what we'll do is we'll just top this with the clarified butter and a little bit of herbs um, and then nice, uh, a nice layer of salt and pepper. So this is going to cook at about 375. Um, the recipe calls for 425, but since I kind of want to cook everything together, I'm going to leave it at 375. It's a perfect amount of um, temperature for it to roast. Okay. We're going to cover it with aluminum foil first for about uh, 45, 40 minutes, and then we're going to uncover it and let it finish for 30 minutes. So Ooh. it's about a good, you know, a little over an hour, hour and a half to cook this. Okay, Erica, so we're gonna start our chocolate, smoked chocolate pecan pie next. So I have already our pie dough here in a pie, um, pie tin. And what I'll have you do is you do the brown sugar in there. And then we're gonna melt the chocolate and the butter. So the recipe says to melt the chocolate separately and then the butter um, separately as well, but I'm just gonna do it together. Okay. <laughs> we're just gonna throw on the grill. Yeah. We're doing it my way. Might as well. Since we're doing the indirect heat, it's it's gonna melt, it's not gonna burn or anything. Absolutely. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right, so while we wait for this to melt, we'll check on our other stuff. Oh my gosh, are you <gasps> seeing that? That crust. Mm. Uh, I'm can't hungry wait. already. <laughs> <laughs> it smells so good. All right, so we'll go ahead and set that aside. I'm gonna have you chop these up a little bit okay. more. So while we wait for that to melt, it should be really quick. Okay. Uh, this is so good. It's like a not your traditional pecan pie. I love the chocolate and the smoky. Ooh, you, you'll impress many people with this if you show up to a Thanksgiving party. You had me at smoky chocolate. Yes, <laughs> smoky chocolate. Um, and then with that, we have a little bit of smoked maple syrup. We have our dark uh, corn syrup. We have our halved pecans, and then we have chopped to go on top. So it's about one cup of, of halved and one cup of chopped that we're gonna throw on top, and four eggs. Really easy, really easy recipe. How are we looking? Uh, a, little a, little more? More? a little bit more. A little bit more? Okay. Just because we're going to sprinkle that on top. Absolutely. I love the idea of making a pie on the grill. I Ugh. think it's like so impressive, right? I just never even thought of that. Yeah. I'm so excited. I think you're looking good there. Okay. Yeah. Nice if you good. like, you just toss it back in the All bowl. Right. So just to get it out of your way, I'm going to check that butter real quick and the chocolate, give a stir. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, take the brown sugar, okay. mix it with the melted chocolate, and then we're going to add the rest of our ingredients in there and then just mix it very well. Okay. Um, throw that all in the pie crust and then top it with pecans and we're just going to throw that in the grill. Wow. Super easy. This is nice and melted. You have your little handy dandy spatula? I do. Do you mind scraping that in there? I sure can. I love teamwork like this. Yeah. This is going to make cooking so much fun. <laughs> Not only are we using amazing equipment, yeah. uh, with the versatility of like everything, uh, smoking, roasting, baking. <laughs> Well, especially during the holidays, it's about engaging, cooking with people, yeah, and I feel having like them be a part of the process. Yeah, and when you're outdoors, I think it brings more people together. You know, together yeah. And just I think we're good there. You good? I think so. No chocolate must be wasted. Yeah, yeah. no yeah. chocolate left behind. Yeah, no chocolate left behind. Let's get on there. It is a oh, chocolate yeah. pecan pie. We need that chocolate, <laughs> we Erica. Need the chocolate. <laughs> That's All right, good. so go ahead and give that okay. a stir. Ooh, kind of fold that in there. And see, I mean, you melted the chocolate and the butter together. Together. <laughs> together. <laughs> All right, so this is our corn syrup. Perfect. And I'll probably have you scrape some of this or else we'll be here all day waiting for this to fall in there. Okay, so do you mind? Yeah, go ahead, take it. Perfect. Our smoked maple syrup. If you don't have smoked maple syrup, um, you can just use regular. It's totally fine. Here we go. <gasps> Where would one find smoked maple syrup? Uh, I think you could order it. It's like specialty online. Okay. Um, or you can make it yourself with your hybrid Kalamazoo There grill. you go. <laughs> Throw some, uh, <laughs> some maple syrup in there and then smoke it a little bit and just Why set it not? off to the side. And you can use it for multiple things. Okay, so I'm gonna have you crack those eggs in there. Okay. One hand, let's see you do one hand. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let me do the next one one hand. Okay. I have to wrap my brain around it. <laughs> okay. So I'll take our pie crust. So I poke some holes in there to kind of get okay, some of that air out. Did it. Yeah, there you go, see? <laughs> Professional over here. You give me a task, I shall complete. <laughs> go ahead and give that a stir. Okay. And then once that's nice and mixed, we'll go ahead and throw in our pecan halves in there. Okay. Put some elbow grease in there. Yeah. Okay, we'll go ahead and throw in there. Please. It'll probably make it a little easier for you to. Ooh. 
So we're getting a nice coating, mm -hmm. drenching them in all of this chocolate, sugar, smoked goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay let's go. go ahead and just toss that in there. Okay. So good, that's gonna sit nicely. So this is gonna go in there for about 50 to 55 minutes, um, from my experience, until it's nice and set. And you can see, you could like kind of shake it a little bit, okay. not so jiggly. Here we go. All right, and then now we're gonna take some of those pecans and just toss the top. Give it a nice little press. Okay. I'll get this out of your way. And this is where the design The pressure, portion. the pressure. Yeah. <laughs> I like pecans. Do you like pecans? I do. Because I'm putting it, a lot of layers on top. Is it pecans or pecans? Ooh, good question. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to swap We'll find out after this out. video. <laughs> yeah. Leave your comment below. <laughs> yeah, leave your comments below. <laughs> All right. So now we're just going to go ahead and directly put that in the grill. No need to cover it. Beautiful. <gasps> great, great job. Look at our poor coin. Yes. That is almost ready to go. Let's okay. go ahead and close that. All right, Erica, so our pork has been in there for about 45 minutes. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and just sprinkle a little bit of, or, you know, put a little glaze on there, okay. sprinkle. <laughs> uh, just baste it with a little bit of that glaze and let it go for another about five to 10 minutes. You just kind of want that nice crust on there. Sure. So I went to go ahead and I threw in that brown sugar glaze in there just so it could get nice and melted. Oh, wow. Look at that beautiful color. And then with the glaze, it's going to get even better color. All right, so what I'm doing, I'm just kind of dusting it with dusting a, it. Yeah. And I love that that uh, Montreal um, seasoning that we put on top of it because uh -huh. it gives it like a nice little crust. Sure. It's all about texture, color, smell, taste, a little bit of everything. Just go ahead and put that off to the side. Let it go for another five minutes and then we'll take it off, let it rest and dive in. Yeah. Okay, Erica, so it's been about five minutes. That glaze is nice and crusty on there. Yum. I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out. Let's take a peek. So what we'll do is we'll kind of just let that rest. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this looks oh, so Oh, wow. Be careful, because these are very hot. Absolutely. We're gonna let that rest. You never want to cut into your meat right away, because then you're just releasing all those juices. Eyes doing so good. So once this is, this is nice and rested, we'll slice it up. We'll put that beautiful apple chutney that we worked on, that we got those nice sear marks on there. Mm -hmm. um, with those dragon grapes, it gets up to about 800 degrees. So there's no need for like a searing zone or anything like that. Sure. So you're not, you're not just having one side of your grill specifically to like searing. You could use those dragon burners. I mean, it gets so hot. We grill those apples in like five minutes, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Okay, Erica, so we are going to take this off of here. So we're just going to pull this off. Okay. So it looks so yummy. Ugh. This is nice and rested, ready for us to slice. About how long do you usually rest it for? About 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Okay. Yeah, that's good enough. Should hopefully slide off, probably not, because, you know, I'm on camera, so I'm thinking, oh, there you go. Watch your... <laughs> I'll get out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to stab you. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the butcher's twine off. Do you mind handing me those scissors? Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, this oh. tastes so good. It's like unwrapping a present. Right? My, <laughs> my kind of present. I know. I'll take food over anything <laughs> any day. So this is just like a wow. wrapping a flavor. Got that smoky, oh, sweet, the mustard. Okay. So I have the chutney in there. Do you mind stirring it? Absolutely. So we're just warming up the apple chutney a little oh, bit. Okay, I've this. thoroughly stirred. All right. Would you like me to bring it over? Sure. I'm just kind of cutting this guy up. It's perfectly cooked. Oh, so Had enough time to rest. So as you can see, you don't have all this juice coming out of there. It's just evenly distributed in there. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, what a nice surprise. I love mm. it. I'm gonna it's keep this glistening. Up mm. You can see the moisture. Yeah, look Nothing's at that. running out. Ooh, that looks so good. So what we'll do is just spread it out there evenly, add a little bit of that apple chutney, some herbs, maybe some flowers. Make it look nice and pretty. You could take some of that glaze and like sprinkle it on top. Oh yeah. Some molten sea salt. Oh, this is so juicy. <gasps> so good. <laughs> look at that. So I'll take some of this. And just kind of, you think we should put it on top or on the side? I think a what little do you bit think? of both. I yeah, think right? we, uh, we dress it up. Do you want to pull out that glaze and then we could sure. put some of that glaze on it? 
Oh gosh, this is gonna be so good. And this is an awesome Thanksgiving dish. You can even have it as like a side dish if somebody doesn't like turkey. Um, it's inexpensive, you can make it look beautiful. Tastes good if you're cooking it right in the Kalamazoo grill. All right. Oh yeah. <laughs> the smells, the smells. Ugh. I think we did wonderful, look at that. Wow. How beautiful that looks. So this serving's for me, right? Not Yeah, this okay. is just for you. <laughs> Look how nice that looks. I mean, just so juicy and it has so much flavor in there. Apple, mustard, some of that brown sugar Absolutely. in there. Oh my and goodness. And everything kind of plays off of each other. You have the reflection of the red from the bell pepper. Mm -hmm. You have the brightness from the herbs that you've plated with it. Yeah. And then the smell, the aroma. Yeah, and then the, I love the grill marks on the apple. It just kind of gives it like a little oomph. Good job, Chef Kim. Thank you. Thank you. You killed it with the recipe <laughs> today. And thanks for letting me assist you. Of course. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our next dish, our side dish, our nice sweet potato roast. So that's ready to get pulled out of the grill. And that one's simple. We're just gonna serve it okay. on a nice plate. So let me go ahead and take this. Can't wait to see how the design turned out. Mm, look at that. How pretty that is. <gasps> So what we'll do is I'll go ahead and plate this for you. We'll take a little bit of that puree, you can warm it up. We're just gonna do like a little, kind of make it look all nice and fancy, you know? What an artist you are. <laughs> Thank you. I got my swoosh game going, going strong. It looks so pretty. Look like little sweet potato Absolutely, chips. Absolutely, yes. Oh, it smells so good. Like a cute little serving. It's like I, a little I forgot bouquet. to serve um, you a plate. I was just thinking about myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'd be okay with the puree. <laughs> right. Mm, the shallots. You can smell that caramelization of the shallots. They remind you of like little it's, like yeah. seashells or something. It's so pretty. <laughs> you know, it smells like home. It smells like holidays. It does. That's what it smells like. So I'm gonna take some micro arugula. This could be like a cute Keep little appetizer, yeah. Absolutely. Oh. Keep people at bay while they're waiting for the roast to finish mm -hmm. or <laughs> the turkey to finish. So that nobody gets hangry. Yeah, okay. exactly. We want to avoid hangry on the holidays. I think I could have, have this as the main course. Right? And be okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's so, so hearty but fresh. It is. Are you ready for dessert now? Yes. <laughs> We have our pie done. Oh. It is nice and set. Oh wow. So when you're doing this at home, once you pull out your um, pie out of your, your grill, you wanna just let it set for a little bit. You okay. know, I wanna cut it into a, a pie. Um, so, but this, we're, gonna, we're gonna cut into this right now because <laughs> we can't wait. But we're throwing <laughs> it all to the wind. We're yeah. just gonna go for it. <laughs> yep. All right. You do some ice cream on this. Oh. So we can kind of show our viewers what this is supposed to look like. Look at that even browning oh, you get to in the grill. Like you would never imagine having that nice browning. It's so even on this pie crust. I think that's really what the most awe-inspiring is about this, the evenness of the temperature control. Mm -hmm. Because I don't think I could get a pie like this on my oven at home. Wow. So oh. it's a little bit time to set, but for the most part, that's ready to go. <laughs> that looks like it's ready to me. <laughs> yeah, it's ready for you to take a bite. You made all my grilling dreams come true today. I did, and With you did you tell and the me that you like, yeah. You that's wanna... pretty much our Thanksgiving <laughs> feast. <laughs> That's our Thanksgiving feast, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for previewing this with us. I think this does a wonderful job of showing the versatility of the Kalamazoo, and Chef Kimberly just really highlighted how easy it is mm -hmm. to cook it in your outdoor kitchen, especially when you have professional grade products at your fingertips. Yeah, so, don't let the bells and whistles um, discourage you from trying out to, you know, trying out just yeah. simple foods that you do on a regular Thanksgiving um, night or Christmas or just Absolutely. during the, the holidays. It's like totally something you can do outdoors. Like don't be discouraged. I mean, Kalamazoo, everything is pretty much done for you. All you have to do is throw your food on there. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thanks so much. If you guys are interested in tuning in later, um, we might have some follow-up on our mm -hmm. Kalamazoo and Solana Beach. Also, if you're interested in these products we showed today, you can go to our website and make an appointment with a sales consultant. Yeah, go to perch.com, set an appointment, and we'll get you set up. You can even come in and watch me You might me, see uh, Chef Kim. Yeah. I know. Yeah, we <laughs> live on your 
on all showrooms. So again, <laughs> thank you for watching everyone. Thank you, happy holidays. Bye-bye. This is one in a series of showcase videos that you can watch on our Perch YouTube channel.